The relationship between fitness and lung health is a fascinating area of study that has gained increasing attention in recent years. While most people associate fitness with benefits like weight management, improved cardiovascular health, and better mental well-being, its impact on lung health is often overlooked. Yet, emerging research suggests that cardiorespiratory fitness, essentially how well your heart and lungs work together during physical activity, plays a significant role in preserving lung function over time. This connection is particularly important because lung health is often seen as something that declines naturally with age and is largely unchangeable. But what if fitness could be a key to slowing that decline? Keep watching to learn what the science says about this intriguing link. First, it's important to understand what we mean by lung health. In simple terms, lung health refers to how well your lungs function, which is typically measured by two key metrics, forced expiratory volume in one second, or FEV1, and forced vital capacity, or FVC. FEV1 measures how much air you can forcefully exhale in one second, while FVC measures the total amount of air you can exhale after taking a deep breath. These metrics are crucial because they reflect the efficiency of your lungs and airways. Over time, lung function naturally declines as part of the aging process, but factors like smoking, pollution, and chronic diseases can accelerate this decline. What's interesting is that research now suggests that cardiorespiratory fitness might help slow this process, offering a way to protect lung health as we age. One of the most compelling studies on this topic comes from the Coronary Artery Risk Development in Young Adults, which followed a large group of healthy young adults over 20 years. The study found that participants who had higher levels of cardiorespiratory fitness at the start of the study experienced a slower decline in lung function over time. Specifically, each additional minute participants could last on a treadmill test was associated with a 1 milliliter per year slower decline in FVV1 and a 1.55 milliliter per year slower decline in FVC. These numbers might seem small, but when you consider that lung function declines naturally with age, even small improvements in preservation can have a big impact on long-term health. But it's not just about where you start, it's also about how your fitness changes over time. The study found that participants who maintained or improved their fitness levels over the 20-year period had better preserved lung function compared to those whose fitness declined. In fact, every one-minute decline in treadmill performance over 20 years was linked to a 2.54 milliliter per year greater decline in FVV1 and a 3.27 milliliter per year greater decline in FVC. This suggests that staying active and fit throughout adulthood isn't just good for your heart or waistline, it's also a powerful way to protect your lungs. What's particularly striking is that this association holds true even for high-risk groups, like smokers. Smoking is one of the most well-known risk factors for lung disease and accelerated lung function decline. Yet, the study found that even among smokers, those who maintained higher levels of fitness experienced less decline in lung function compared to their less fit peers. This doesn't mean that fitness cancels out the harmful effects of smoking. Quitting smoking is still the best thing you can do for your lungs. But it does suggest that staying fit might offer some protective benefits, even in the face of significant risks. So, how exactly does fitness help preserve lung health? While the exact mechanisms aren't fully understood, researchers have proposed several possibilities. One theory is that regular exercise improves the conditioning of the respiratory muscles, making them more efficient at moving air in and out of the lungs. Another possibility is that exercise leads to favorable changes in chest wall mechanics, which can enhance lung function. For example, activities like running or swimming require deep rhythmic breathing, which might help keep the lungs and chest wall flexible and functional over time. Another potential mechanism involves systemic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is known to play a role in many diseases, including those affecting the lungs. Research has shown that higher levels of fitness are associated with lower levels of systemic inflammation, as measured by markers like C-reactive protein and fibrinogen. In the study, the researchers found that reduced systemic inflammation partially explained the link between fitness and better lung health. This makes sense because inflammation can damage lung tissue and impair function, so anything that reduces inflammation, like regular exercise, could help protect the lungs. There's also the possibility that fitness influences lung health through its effects on body composition and fat distribution. While body mass index is often used as a measure of overall health, it doesn't account for where fat is stored in the body. Visceral fat, which accumulates around the organs, is particularly harmful and has been linked to inflammation and reduced lung function. 
Regular exercise can help reduce visceral fat, even if overall weight doesn't change dramatically. This could be another way that fitness helps preserve lung health. Beyond these physiological mechanisms, there's also the broader impact of fitness on overall health. People who are more physically active tend to have healthier lifestyles in general. They're less likely to smoke, more likely to eat a balanced diet, and better at managing stress. All of these factors can indirectly contribute to better lung health. For example, stress is known to exacerbate inflammation and weaken the immune system, so managing stress through exercise could have a protective effect on the lungs. The implications of these findings are significant, especially from a public health perspective. Lung function decline is often seen as an inevitable part of aging, but this research suggests that it might be modifiable through lifestyle changes. Even small improvements in fitness could have a meaningful impact on lung health, potentially reducing the risk of lung disease and other related conditions. This is particularly important because declining lung function is associated with a host of adverse health outcomes, including cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and even premature death. By preserving lung function, fitness could help protect against these broader health risks. Of course, it's important to acknowledge the limitations of this research. The study mentioned, like many others in this field, is observational, meaning it can't prove that fitness directly causes better lung health. It's possible that people with better lung health are simply more likely to be physically active or that some other factor is driving the association. However, the research did their best to account for potential confounders like smoking and obesity, and the findings were constant across different analyses. Despite these limitations, the findings are compelling and align with what we know about the broader benefits of fitness. Cardiorespiratory fitness has been long associated with better cardiovascular health, lower risk of chronic diseases, and longer life expectancy. The idea that it could also protect lung health adds another layer to its importance. For young adults, this is especially relevant because it suggests that building and maintaining fitness early in life could have long-lasting benefits for respiratory health. So what does this mean for you? If you're already active, keep it up! Regular aerobic exercise like running, cycling, swimming, or even brisk walking can help improve your cardiorespiratory fitness and, in turn, protect your lungs. If you're not currently active, it's never too late to start. Even small increases in physical activity can make a difference. The key is to find activities you enjoy and can stick with over the long term. For healthcare providers, these findings highlight the importance of assessing and promoting fitness as part of routine care. Evaluating fitness in young adulthood could provide valuable information about long-term lung health, and encouraging patients to stay active could help preserve their respiratory functions as they age. This is especially important for high-risk groups, like smokers, who might benefit from the protective effects of fitness even if they can't quit smoking right away. But as you can see, the association between fitness and lung health is a promising area of research that underscores the far-reaching benefits of staying active. While we still have much to learn about the mechanisms behind this link, the evidence so far suggests that cardiorespiratory fitness is a powerful tool for preserving lung function and protecting against age-related decline. Whether you're a young adult looking to invest in your long-term health or someone older hoping to maintain your lung function, Staying fit is one of the best things you can do for your lungs and your overall health. So, lace up those sneakers, hit the gym, and breathe easy knowing you're doing your lungs a favor. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.